Typically, scripts aren't written from scratch. No one really memorizes all code calls. So, to help write your scripts, you can use the recorder. This tool allows you to perform commands, and they are automatically recorded into code that can then be used to create a longer script. So you have to open the recorder, and there are three ways to do so. The first is using the search bar. The second is by clicking the dev icon, and then record. And third, you can go to plugins, macros, and record. The recorder can be used for multiple languages, including JavaScript, Beanshell, and Java, but we will focus on the ImageJ1 macro language today. It's not the most powerful language, but it's a good place to get started in ImageJ, especially if you have no background in coding. So let's take a look at the recorder in action. So we'll open up the recorder, and here it is. And this is where you select the language. So we're going to use the macro language. And then you can type away your commands. So we'll open the sample image blobs. We will set a threshold. Whoop. Create a mask. and analyze particles. And here you have the makings of uh, a script. You can see all the code calls are saved here. So when you're finished, you can then click create and it opens the script editor. And now we have the makings of our first script that can then be run via the script editor. And we'll cover that in another short video tutorial.